Well, with that chat, you've waited long enough. Um, this this is probably probably the last hurrah for this era. We've said it and kind of teased it before. Um, but again, we are right on the precipice of NHL coming out. And once that game drops, we're not likely to have time for this. We're not likely to have too much time for FIFA. I can record FIFA offline. I cannot do anything with this series offline because it involves you. So that's the uh, that's the big issue. You guys made it all the way to the NBA final last season and uh, blew it. But who knows? Maybe one more season is all that you need. I do see Crash Andrews here. We'll give him his team back. Why not? And uh, Crash, I'm just going to keep it going, and I'll ask you just like I asked chat in regards to, hey, what, what the deal is and what you want to do. Um, so, yeah, we'll give Crash the Nashville Stars back. Why not? Uh, in terms of player retirements, I mean, we're, we've been in this long enough that Paolo Bancaro is retiring at this stage, and Anthony Black and Cam Whitmore. It's weird. Loka, you know what the hell I mean. Uh, it's not FIFA anymore, it's FC. Cool. Sorry I didn't use the, you knew, the, the. sorry I didn't use the goddamn term that everyone's used for the game for 30 years. Well, actually, it's FC. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> anyway, moving on. Moving on. Or, yeah, I was going to say, are you mad I still call it Twitter? <laughs> oh, goodness, as you get a look at the Hall of Famers. Well, actually... Uh, punch you right in the ass. Oh, goodness. Someone just tweeted, by the way, in regards to uh, Edge's debut. Oh, oh excuse me, Adam Copeland. Uh, his debut in AEW. The WWE hasn't had an active trademark for Rated R Superstar since April of 2020. Idiots. Anyway. Anyway. Shout out to Paolo Bancaro. Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. Uh, and Jersey Retirements. Shout out to Dave Adams. I think that's the first generated dude that we've seen get his number retired. Dave Adams. Beautiful. Beautiful Dave Adams. Whoops. How the hell do we end up over here? Uh, what do we have for league meetings? Nothing that was accepted. I wish we could abolish the salary cap. That would be great. Was Dave a first overall pick? I don't know. I can't see his, his information. So, well, hold on. Dave Adams, 12th overall pick in 2024. Old Dave Adams. We get to the draft lottery. The draft lottery. We are both in the uh, top three at 14%. I have quite a few picks in the mix. And also, <laughs> not that it's going to matter... But nukes are back on the table. Nukes are back on the table. Um, although I don't think we'll be able to do this for long enough to know at this stage. Honestly, I might just have to change the rules to speed run another season or two. The winner of the 2040 draft lottery. Oh, you have all the luck with the lottery. Fuck you. Fuck you, I have the luck. Jesus. <sighs> okay, the Pacers get the number one overall pick. You love to see it. You love to see it. We go to the draft. I'll have the fourth overall pick. You guys will have the fifth. And with said fourth overall pick, who the hell am I going for? Who the hell am I going for? All -star starter, all NBA starter Taylor Fuller. All NBA starter is pretty good. Look at the actual scouting deal here, though. I knew I was doing something wrong. Taylor Fuller, the shooting guard. 
is very likely my guy. There is a dude named Junior Burns who they're saying could be a Hall of Famer. So there is that. Uh, but I'll be going for more of the sure thing in the form of shooting guard Taylor Fuller. I have seen Alanis Morissette live. And did she go head over feet on stage? <laughs> Fucking hate that song. God damn it. Um, shout out to Atlantis Morris that's still uh, still touring. Good for her. Uh, chat, your team's on the board. She did. It was iconic. Fair. Chat's team is on the board. Let's see. Best player available for you. To be honest, this might be the way we have to do it from now on. It might just be who the hell is the best player overall, and that's who I'm taking for you. <laughs> oh, goodness. All-star starter, Ulf Sundin. All-star starter, Rasheed Jennings. All-star starter, Otis Meyer. All right, I mean, you got, yeah, that was a really good forward. There were a couple of good centers and then some long shots. You could sex the Matumbo. Leandro Delgado, that's your guy right there. Even if it's not who you need, fifth overall pick, that's your guy. Congratulations, chat. You don't even get a choice at this stage because it's, it's pointless. Take the best player available. He's being compared to Manute Bowl and De uh, Dikembe Mutombo. Leandro Delgado, who's ready to sex the Delgado? He is the pick. Congratulations. We go to the next pick. Back to back from my St. Louis Sound. Is it even worth trading down the road for draft picks anymore? The answer is probably no. Although that Darren Leonard guy is not that bad. Doug Saunders, Cecil Watts, Gabe Watson was trash. Machis Bajia. The Baz. Oh, he's not going to get much better than what he is. He's making $21 million. Did you have to Craig the Hammer Valentine. <laughs> Oh, goodness. How good's Kobe Andrews? Actually, not bad. And Fernando Garcia. Actually, not bad. Not two for the price of one. From the Detroit Pistons might not be the worst option, given that I have back-to-back -back picks. Two for the price of one. Or Daculus Nidiatis. It's actually not even that good. Manuel McLeod and the 23rd pick. I mean, that's not bad just to try to flip him. I uh, gotta be honest. Gotta be honest. I think I'm just gonna make the pick. I think I am. There are a couple of deals that weren't that bad, but uh, the Andrews and Garcia thing wasn't that bad, but. I'm going to aim for higher than that. Oh, let's see who it's going to be for yours truly. A couple all-star benches, all-NBA bench, Barry Freeman. Starter, starter, Elton Wingate. Starter, all-star, Freddie Toole. Starter, all-star, Ulf Sundin. Two starter all-stars. So with Sundin... Or Freddie Tool. The Australian or the Swede? We'll go with the Swede. After what happened, Liverpool and Spurs on the weekend. I'm not too happy with Australians right now. Ulf Sundin, welcome in. Is there a good trade offer for me here? Darren Leonard. See, this guy's making $31 million. That's a fucked up. This era has been cap wise. Um, honestly, that Basia trade. Uh, Kobe Andrews, Fernando Garcia. I'll actually take that now. Wasn't going to take it before. There we go. We got our Swede. Nashville on the clock. Let's see who Crash Andrews is landing. He's got a whole lot of scout info. Let's see. So, Roderick Fleming, all NBA to bench. Don't even ask me what your team needs. Take best available. Don't even ask me. 
All NBA to bench Barry Freeman. Could be a Mitch Richmond. There's an all star to starter, Dalton Arnold, who is probably the best player to take right now. I was typing that. I knew you would be. Starter, starter. Well, the answer's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious. Congratulations to Crash Andrews and Dalton Arnold. Enjoy him. He's the best player available. Chat, you're also going to get the best player available at this stage because fuck it. Neither of our teams can win. All-star starter Rasheed Jennings is your best shot. Say hello to center Rasheed Jennings. Just auto the draft. I will not. I'm still going to make sure you get the best damn player possible. Autoing the draft wouldn't guarantee that. Uh, two firsts for two future firsts, two centers. Who cares? Depth, trade the good guy. Two future first round picks from Boston. Oh, but we had two players in the same position. It's not like trading exists. You out of your minds? What are we possibly going to do in a series that revolves around trading? Oh, I don't know. Fucking trade somebody? I mean, yeah, we could take a guy who sucks, or we could take a guy who's good and trade him. I think we should take the guy that sucks. <laughs> because, you know, we might need him more to stank up the bench. That's what we need. Enjoy the Sacramento Kings deal. Fuck you. Because <laughs> you got another pick coming up. There's still going to be good players on the board. Unless there's another good trade. There you go, chap. Fuck it. There you go. More picks from Philly, because there's really nobody that good left. Congratulations. God forbid you end up with another center. God forbid. What a disaster that would be. I don't need two future seconds. Just make the goddamn pick. Who's left? Who's left? Is there anybody left? All NBA. Cool. I'll end up with Barry Freeman. Neat. A D-plus overall. Fun. Who the hell is even on the clock now? Tr crashes Nashville Stars. Crashes Nashville Stars. They're my Nashville Stars at this point. Jeez. Christ. Anybody better than Starter Bench? All-Star Bench. All-Star Bench. Well, it's Randy Tavares or Curtis Cunningham. Cunningham's a C. Tavares is a C minus, but younger. So say hi to Randy Tavares. There you go. You had a nap for this, apparently. Neat. Who did we get? Who did we get? Rookie signings. Crash ended up with Randy. Who's not that good, but cheap enough to be a depth option. And Dalton Arnold, who's pretty solid. 75, 21, and a B plus. Congratulations. For chat, Rashid Jennings, C plus at 21 and a 74. Tradable. Leandro Delgado, B minus at 22 and a 75. Also tradable. And then for me, Barry Freeman is mid as shit, but I'm still going to sign him because he's cheap. There's also Alf Sundin, who's terrible, but I'm still going to sign him. And Taylor Fuller, who's kind of okay. That's neat. We move. We march. <laughs> Shout out to Corey Perry and Max Henderson. Shout out to Carnat Titan. Carnat. 30 months on the primer. Carnat, thank you for that. Why is Chat's team always going to be a pain in the ass? Why is Chat's team always going to be a pain in the ass? Ooh, Crash, you have Peter Pickett. You really don't need Max Henderson when you have Peter Pickett. It is worth probably keeping Corey Perry, though. Although not really, because you have Russell Jacobs behind him. They're not asking for that much, though, so you might as well keep him. Uh, for chat, Reyes and Bush are the two to be worried about. Reyes isn't necessarily worth overpaying right now, because he's behind Desmond Moore. Although Ingram's deal is coming up, so you have the money to spend there. And then Andy Bush is the current starter. 
Obviously, you could let go of them and just run with Red, Delgado, Jennings, so on and so forth. Um, the big question is, do you want any money to spend? Or do you just keep these fellas hanging around? Honestly, you could just keep these fellas hanging around. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Reyes is about as good as any depth option at shooting guard you could get on the free agent list anyway. Uh, and then for me, it's Mayo, Barry Carroll, Busca, and Jacob Mason. Just keep them all. Wembenyama is a free agent again. Neat. How many times have we fucking said that? Oh, there's so much to do. You have to qualify Julio Swift. He was MVP. You have to qualify Robertson. I mean, it's worth qualifying pretty much everybody. Uh, except for that dude. That dude sucks. Although he's inexpensive, but he sucks. Uh, for me, Willis can go. Popovich can go. Kobe Purdue can go. Want to keep Lamont Ramsey. Neat. And for Crash Andrews' team. I mean, you got to qualify Peter Pickett. It's Peter Pickett. Andre Crawford is 25 and trash. That dude's trash. That dude's 24 and pretty trash. 25 and trash. It's just... It's a, it's a whole lot of garbage. It's a whole lot of garbage. Yeah, Pickett's young enough that it's worth it. We march. We move. We do the things. Celtics have a solid trade. They did. They gave up a lot for Drew Holiday. But, I mean, you got to go for it if you're in their position. Uh, so for me, I have the money to sign anybody. For Crash Andrews, he's got the money to sign anybody. Chat has about $42 million, so GG's. You'll be focusing on RFAs. Uh, primarily your MVP, Julio Swift. Uh, he's he's got to be your, your top option at this stage. He's got to be. He's got to be. See if we can save a little bit of money on him. But at least he was an MVP. He's worth the money. Uh, and then old Robbo. Oh boy, he's not worth that. So go ahead and wait him out since he's a qualified option. Uh, free fun. It was great. I enjoyed it. Uh, Adrian Griffin also wants a little bit too much, and he was qualified, so you can wait those two out. Uh, for myself, Ramsey wants $28 million. I'm waiting him out. And for Crash, Javon Peters, Lionel Ware both want way too much goddamn money. So, uh, for me, I got a shit point guard. I got a shit team. I need a forward. I need a forward. Mirko Raja. I don't want to pay anybody that much money. I don't. I just don't want to pay you that much money if you're that mid. So what I need is not available. Cool. Could go for Billy Farrell, though. He would be worth the money. It's not exactly what I need, but you guys could just match for Julio Swift. There's another RFA in Ruben May. Uh, I'm going to throw my name into the hat for Billy Farrell, because that is the type of player I need to turn my team around, if at all possible. Uh, he wants all of the money and has some max offers. This whole maximum three-year deal thing is a nightmare. But yeah, Billy Farrell, congrats. You'll be my target. Uh, and for Crash Andrews, what the hell does Crash Andrews need? Doesn't need a point guard. Doesn't necessarily need a shooting guard. Kind of, sort of needs a forward, but not really. Yeah, I could kind of use a power forward. Yeah, I could kind of use a center. Crash Andrews could go with the best player available. Crash Andrews! Did you see anybody? Were you paying attention? That's the real question. Was Crash Andrews paying attention? Play the Jeopardy theme, but don't, because we'll get copyright striked. Play the Jeopardy theme. Do, 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 do. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 boom, boom. Crash Andrews wants to go for the Wemby. He wants the Wemby. The Wembenyama. Um... He wants term, so you might as well give him term and a player option. The Wembenyama. Will he head to Nashville? Let's find out. Uh, for chat, Julio Swift. 
has elected to stay with you, which is good news. You can let go of that guy. 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 Cap hold him. Cap hold him. You're good. Uh, for me, the dude didn't accept the contract. GG's. GG's. Love it here. Lyle, love it here. And uh, it doesn't look like Wembenyama is heading to Nashville. Good to know. Good to know. You have anybody that it's worth keeping here? Doesn't necessarily look like it. Renounce the rights on Javon Peters because he wants way too much goddamn money. And uh, Lionel Ware got a one-year deal of $15 million. Not really worth signing into that now, is it? So, Billy Farrell went to the Lakers. Wembenyama went to the 76ers. GG's were all screwed. GG's were all screwed. That's the lesson that we've learned here. We're all absolutely boned. No one's winning a title, probably. Does Edgar Robinson get a three. Well, crash your... Nope, or chat, you're losing Edgar Robinson. He is not worth that amount of money. Just flat out is not. That would kill you guys. I mean, he is an A potential. Well, he is an A potential at 23 and an 82. Uh, but that is a $53 million a year contract. Chat, keep Edgar Robinson or let him go into the, the beautiful blue yonder. What is the, uh, what is the word? What is the word, chat? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Who are the replacements? Oh, you can't sign. Well, actually, you could technically sign a replacement. I don't know who's there right now. Uh, in terms of who else you have a power forward, nobody. Nobody. So, uh, RVD, yes, it is. Problem is, if we keep Robertson, we might lose Julio. No, Julio already came back. You guys got him under under contract. I'm seeing keep. All right, Edgar Robinson will be staying. Congratulations. Lionel Ware. Okay, Crash, you're definitely not signing that guy to that contract. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. That would be that would be a disaster. So uh, he gone. He gone. Peter Pickett. You might as well match for Peter Pickett. That's not too bad. All right. Well, we await to see the status of our RFAs. Uh, for chat, Adrian Griffith, your backup power forward. To be honest, twelve million for a backup's not that bad. It's actually lower than what his uh, qualifying offer would have been. So that's a pretty good deal. Uh, Lamond Ramsey for me accepted a deal from. <laughs> You're out of your fucking mind if you think I'm giving you twenty-five million dollars a year. Bye, Felicia. Bye. Don't need you. Don't want you. Nice knowing you. Alan Hendricks apparently got an offer. You might as well keep him for that amount of money. GG's. Easy. This has to be our last season at this point. These teams are a nightmare. Uh, for Crash, I mean, hey, he doesn't have a very good team at this stage. For chat, they still have a very good team and still have an opportunity to do the thing. And for me, my team mostly sucks balls. Uh, Reaver probably closer to one at this stage, so we can at least get a season done. All right. All right. This has been nothing but pain and misery. Well, I'm done with this, but also at the same time, it's like I'm it's the frustration of I don't want to be done with it, but again, we are uh we're just low on time, man. We're low on time with hockey coming out. Um, let's take a look here at our teams for this season. Uh, I got to get Barry Freeman into the G League. I have way too many goddamn centers. Oh, my God. Now might be the time, I hate to say it, to cut two gay is that. But... Yeah, who's who's to say? Uh, for crashes, Nashville stars Randy Tavares. Pretty much tell is going to be best for the G League. And for Chat's team at this stage, Rasheed Jennings will be best for the G League. In terms of the lineups for this season, 
Uh, Fleming wasn't mine. Blair wasn't mine. Garcia is. I'm going to run an 11-man bench. So I have Barry Carroll, Taylor Fuller, Karan Posey, Scott Mayo, and Dan Blair. My team sucks. Crash's team in Nashville. I don't know if you were worried about Petzoglu. You're not really worried about Parks. Damon Swift, Henry. Crash might as well run with a nine-man bench at this stage. He has Jacobs, Peterson, Moreland, Henderson, and Taribo Christopher. And for Chats Lions. Not really worried about Baker. Not really worried about Armstrong or Barrett. Uh, run a 10. Scotty Barnes is the head coach in Cincinnati. Jesus. Dell Cummings, Desmond Moore, Julio Swift, Edgar Robertson, and Andy Bush. Chat led by Scotty Barnes. I think I like that. That's where we are at this point. Uh, so for chats, like this is it. This is this is their one shot, one opportunity, mom's spaghetti to win another title or to win a title and to win this era. This is that opportunity, especially Donovan Webster on the team. They have good depth. Uh, the move, though, is to basically put all the centers and see who you can trade. Uh, and to put your own first round pick on the block. Uh, for Crash's team at this stage, uh, let's be honest, pretty much nobody should be untouchable at this stage. Um, yeah, Crash might as well just leave an open block. Uh, and then for me, in St. Louis, um, probably going to leave an open block as well. Pretty much anybody... Anybody can go. Everyone must go. Except for Dan Blair. Except for Dan Blair and my first round picks. Everything must go. This is the way. Neat. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're speed running this bad boy. All sense of, of drama, hope, and optimism is just gone. His free fall and hits us with the 37 months on the primer. And chat, you immediately get an offer for the big man, Leandro Delgado. Again, 22 years old, 75 overall, and a B minus. They are offering up a decent backup point guard and a future first round pick that would improve your backup option. And obviously, you still have good centers. I would take it. You still have three centers on the roster and improves your team right now at point guard and you get a future first round pick. Um, we're not even going to throw it to a vote. You'd be pretty dumb to take this at this stage, given that Delgado is not even going to be the starter at this point. Um, you get depth in a, de you know, in a different position, get a future first round pick. Should we continue on? Take it. You're fine. Um, and honestly, there's a chance that we just pause this and then come back to it and cry ourselves to sleep a different day. There is that possibility. There is that possibility. We'll see if you guys can win 71 games again this season. I hope to God you do. Chat, your only hope. Uh, is Crash's best player or second best player just broke his leg. So GG's. Chat is 2-3 and three on the season. You love to see it. Uh, for me, 25-year-old Scott Mayo, who's not bad, but will never be amazing. For 30-year-old Luther Walker, in the same position in a second-round pick. No. If it means losing in the final, I'm good. Not winning that many. I mean, at this rate, if we were if we were to say era over, I would give you guys the win. You did make it the furthest. Neither of us won. I would just be willing to say, screw it, you guys win, though. Um, which you would think I'd want to just be like, nope, it's a draw. But at the same time, eh. Uh, <laughs> as I get a trade off of here, Lee Barry Carroll in a second for a future first round pick. Barry Carroll's 25, kind of mid. How good's Nick Nance? Younger guy, I will take it. That is a... Done deal for me. Thank you very, very much. Goodbye, Mr. Barry Carroll. So, no one wins, no draw. Everyone loses. <laughs> how? Oh, I was going to say, I thought it was still on your team. I was going to say, how are you guys 5-8? and eight? You're better than that, thankfully. 
You are better than that, thankfully. Uh, you guys also get another trade offer, chat's team. It's Armando Reyes, 24 B minus in the 77, for Brian Farrell, who is a little bit better, but, you know, more might leave at the end of the season. It would be a short term solution. Reyes isn't that bad. He's the guy to keep beyond this year. That's that's not worth taking at this stage. Chat is 10 and 7, so not quite as dominant as you were last year. Hopefully. Hopefully things change soon. Soon, soon, soon. Uh, I have computer handled prospect scouting. It's December of 2040. How have we gone almost 20 years in the modern era without somebody winning? It's insane to me. Absolutely insane to me. But. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. What are we going to do? Uh, Crash's team gets an offer. 27 Tarebo, 27 year old Tarebo Christopher for Del Malone. It's not worth it at this point. Not much of an improvement. Draft class is so shit at 50. I'd love to see what they're like at zero. Oh, my God. I mean, again, I, I highly recommend using a higher quality. You guys get a trade offer for Donovan Webster that's not worth it at all. Given what you're trying to accomplish this season. This is sadistic. It's there, there are a lot of words to describe this. Chief among them. Dumb. As you guys get another offer. It's Cliff Baker and Howard Bear. What the fuck? So chat gets an offer of two depth scrubs for Rick Pierce and a first round pick. That's a yes. Congratulations, chat. You just got a free first round pick. That is, those are the worst two players I've ever seen paired together for a first round pick. And you got a better player than the two guys that were a part of it. Meanwhile, I'm getting offers like this. Although Maurice Newton's not bad. I actually will take that. Not that Mayo's looking that bad at this point, but Newton I can build around a little bit more. I'm going to take that. I am willing to continue to just tear my team down and lose basketball games. So, that's where we're at. I mean, honestly, if you did put the draft class quality at zero, it would probably generate like a 68 overall as the best player. Probably would. That is my guess. That is my guess. Good. Let's keep going. Let's keep it going. Automatically fill out the roster. This is the year, chat. No, it's not. Never mind. It's never the year. It's never ever the year. I lied. I'm not going to jinx it. You suck. I'm better. I'm 3-1 and one in this series. Get good scrubs. You're never going to win again. Ever. You suck butt. Deal with it. Deal with it. There we go. Is that better? Am I not jinxing it anymore? Is that better? Ah, <laughs> oh, goodness. Streamer makes me feel welcome. Fuck you, Watson. <laughs> I don't want you here. Get out. The anti-jinx, right? You know what? This, this is the stage that we're at now. Hold on. Potential trade for Crash's team. You know, a 29-year-old actual good player, Bill Peterson, and a dude named Chris Parks. Shout out to Abyss. Uh, and Jackson, or four, Jackson Bishop, who's not that good. And Phil Chase, who's not that good. This is, this is the part that we're at now. Normally, this is saved. Normally, this is saved for other, uh, other events on the channel. How good's Danny Hodges outside of the fact that the IRL Danny Hodges was insane? Yeah, you guys don't need that. Anything interesting happens, I'll let you know. Um, but until then, you know what's more fun? <laughs> Fucking GeoGuessr, baby. <laughs> oh, never mind. I lied. It put us in the middle of nowhere. 
Uh, hold on, you guys got a trade offer here. Uh, 30 year old dude, no, that's not worth it. Keep the sim going. Keep it going. We'll get there eventually. Uh, I don't care where this is. South America, who cares? France, neat, who cares? I wasn't going to sit there and look around. Uh, you guys got another trade offer. Uh, Crash did, that is. It's not worth it at all. Neat. See, this is what I mean. Nothing's exciting. Nothing is exciting. Where are we now? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move forward just a little bit. Well, it's in a European nation. I can tell you that much. And they speak French. Also, hold on. It's a trade offer. Uh, Max Henderson, 24 years old on Crash's team in a second for Irving Banks, 19-year-old power forward with an A potential, and Jerome Cardinal, another decent young player. Uh, honestly, given that Henderson's not going to get much better, it probably is better for Crash to take this trade. Congratulations, Crash. Your team is now led by a bald, bald man. Congratulations. You did it. Does it feel like your team yet? Well, it shouldn't. God damn it, it's another trade. Uh, you guys get the offer. I get the offer of Alf Sundin. 20 years old, 77 in a C plus. For more of a veteran player in Garrett Sampson in the first round pick. I'll take the first round pick. I don't think Sundin's going to be anything too crazy. And we hit the trade deadline. You love to see it. Well, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Goodness. Uh, in terms of yield contract extensions, absolutely nothing for me to worry about. Uh, Crash is going to lose that Bill Peterson dude. Uh, and then chat will have to re-sign more. Also, Dell Cummings tore his Achilles. Excuse me. Ruptured his Achilles. Uh, so GG's. GG's. Chat lost their starting point guard. GG's. Um, I mean, yeah, 29-year-old Desmond Moore. He's willing to take a bit of a pay cut. There's really no reason to not re-sign this guy to try and stay competitive beyond this season. But, uh, yeah, we have, we have fun here. There you go. Welcome back, Desmond Moore. At least you know he's worth the money. Ah, this team's just dead in the water. <laughs> this team is just dead in the water. This run is dead in the water. I swear. I swear. I swear. Oh, goodness. Goodness. Nighthawk, what's up? Um, I've spent a good amount of today sleeping, so that was good. Trying to get the old schedule back on track, so. Oh, goodness. All right, beyond the deadline we go. Beyond the deadline we go. Chat's team going to win 50 games in their sleep. This is the time. The era. This modern era. What have we learned through the modern era, everybody? That life is only going to get worse. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. That's what we've learned. <sighs> Depressing, isn't it? Navigate the cap better. That too. Higher draft class quality. We've learned quite a few things. We've learned quite a few things at this stage. Mostly... That this team sucks. That's the, the primary. Primary thing that we've learned is that this team sucks. And what team? Because, oh, there's two to three different teams. All of them. All of the team sucks. It's all encompassing. This team sucks. Chat's never going to win. And I hate it here. Name of the 10 second memory does a fancy draft. You can't easily check who you just drafted. Oof. Best player available at all times. Julio Swift wins another league MVP for chat Cincinnati Lions. 
24 points a game is still good enough to win MVP. Rookie of the Year, Dario Bilic in Charlotte. Sixth Man of the Year, Rod Doyle in Charlotte. Defensive Player of the Year, Rock Zagorak. The GOAT. The fucking GOAT. Now in Sacramento. Most Improved, Nicolas Niniatis. Clutch Player of the Year, Ruben May. Coach of the Year, Scotty Barnes. <laughs> That's so fucking weird. First year coach, and he's coach of the year. Hilarious. Executive of the year, Justin Taylor. For I'm, We're done. We're done. This era's done. He wins MVP, but he broke his leg. You won't have him in the... We're done. We're done. Fuck this era. This era sucks. This era sucks. You heard it here first. The modern NBA... And beyond absolutely sucks. Pick a new favorite sport because this one's going to go downhill as the years move on. You heard it here first. You're missing your two best players for the postseason. It, it sucks. It sucks. And it's all James Harden's fault. Oh, God. Well, you're missing your two best players, but let's see if Scotty Barnes and company can pull off a goddamn miracle. You're in the first round against Cleveland. And you're one in five. You're in the second round against Miami. And you're one in five. You're in the third round against Boston. And you're one in seven. I'm simming it. Do you guys? I'm simming it. I don't even care. I'm simming it. Chat, do the thing. Yeah! Chat wins! <laughs> it's over! We didn't even have to quit! Chat wins! I've never been so happy to lose in my fucking life! Chat wins in 2041! Let's fucking go! Julio came back from injury. And it's a beautiful thing. <sighs> Thank God. It's over. Thank God. Over Cleveland, Miami, Boston, and then sweeping the Phoenix Suns. We didn't see the freaking trophy lift. Who gives a shit? It's the same animation every year. You did it, chat. Congratulations. Eventually. Shot <laughs> to Dimodome. For 31 months, by the way. And shout out to Smelly for the 10 gifted. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Thank God. Thank God it's over. Desmond Moore went off. Webster and Swift. He didn't even need the point guard. Sam Besser, 5 gifted. Chat's going nuts. It's a bonanza. It's a fiesta. It's a celebration. Chat wins in 2041. Thank God. Oh, thank God. That is the only thing I can say. It's finally over. Chat wins. Sam Besser, another four gifted. What a man. Scoot Henderson and Gabriel Hill gave you the most trouble. When you least expected it, things went right as you swept the Suns in the finals. I salute you. Chat wins the modern era in 2041. And let it be known, eventually, we will come back to NBA because now, after three straight wins... Chat has won two in a row. And if they can win the eventual WNBA run, there will have to be seventh era. I don't think you'll get there. Because I'm going to win in the WNBA. You're going to lose. I'm just giving you hope and optimism. At the same time, I will be eternally grateful. Chat wins in the modern era. <laughs>